Wondering how to activate a beacon in Minecraft? This video is going to explain how to craft a beacon, how to activate it, and what status effects you can get from a beacon. Let's start with a crafting recipe for a beacon. In the crafting table, it is nether star, 3 obsidian, and 5 glass in this pattern will craft you a beacon. The only way to get a nether star is by killing the wither. To spawn the wither, put 4 soul sand or soul soil in a T pattern with 3 wither skeleton skulls on top. The best way to kill the wither is either to trap them so they are unable to attack you or make it very difficult for them to get to you. The beacon can be mined successfully with any tool or by hand. Once you crafted the beacon, you can place it on top of a pyramid. The pyramid can be between 1 to 4 levels. The dimensions of the first level is 3x3, three three, the second is 5x5, five five, the third is 7x7, seven seven, and the fourth is 9x9. Nine nine. The more levels you have on a pyramid make more status effects available and increases the range of the beacon. The pyramid can be constructed of blocks of iron, emerald, gold, diamond, or netherite. There is no difference in the minerals you use for the pyramid. Also the pyramid can be made of different blocks, it doesn't have any effect on the beacon. Multiple beacons can also use the same pyramid structure. If the pyramid is damaged it will deactivate the beacon, when the pyramid is repaired it will reactivate the beacon. For the beacon to work, the beacon has to be on top of a pyramid and have an unobstructed view of the sky so transparent blocks can be used to put over the beam. The beacon will emit a beam that has a light level of 15, which is the highest in the game that can melt snow or ice. The beam will extend up into the sky to Y layer 255. Because of this, it can make the beacon a useful landmark, as you can see the beam from a distance. The color of the beam can also be changed by placing stained glass or glass panes anywhere above the beacon block. The first glass block sets the beam's color. With each additional glass block, there is an averaging of the red, green, blue colors of the beam. Once the beacon is emitting a beam, it has to be fed an iron ingot, gold ingot, emerald, diamond, or netherite ingot to activate the beacon. To open the beacon display, hit the use button or right click. Place the mineral in the empty slot. The primary powers will be on the left panel. In the right panel is whether you want to make the status effects level 2 or add regeneration status effects. Once you've picked what you want from the left and right panel, hit the green check mark to set the primary powers for the beacon. If you want to change the powers, you can repeat the process and it will cost you another mineral. There are 5 primary powers for the beacon. At a level 1 pyramid, the primary powers available are the speed and the haste. Speed will increase the movement speed or walking speed by 20% per a level. Haste increases the attack speed by 10% and the mining speed by 20% per a level. A level 2 pyramid has the powers of resistance and jump boost. Resistance decreases all incoming damage by 20% per a level. Jump boost will increase the jump height by 50% and reduce fall damage by 1 per a level. At level 3 pyramid has the power of strength. What strength does increase the melee damage by 3 per a level. A level 4 pyramid will allow you to use the right panel of regeneration or increase the level of the power to 2. Regeneration will restore 1 health every 50 ticks. The increase to level 2 will increase the primary power to level 2. In Java Edition it is also possible to get 2 level 1 powers on one beacon. This is done by selecting the primary power in the left panel, then selecting level 2 in the right panel, then hitting another primary power and hitting the green check mark. This won't show each power, but it is visible on the top right in the status effects. How the powers work is that every 4 seconds, the selected power is applied to the duration of 9 seconds, plus 2 seconds per level of the pyramid. So when a player travels outside the range of the beacon, they still will have the status effects for 5 to 9 seconds or 13 to 17 seconds. The range of the beacon is level 1 is 20, level 2 is 30, level 3 is 40, and level 4 is 50. The range of the beacon is a square, not a circle. Also that range reaches from the beacon downward, out to each side, and upward to a range of 256 in Java and indefinitely in Bedrock.